So it's 2021, and you decided it's time to check out this game called Ark. Now, it came out in early access on in 2015 for the PC, and since then, it has come a long way. But today is the day that you are going to check out Ark, or maybe you're coming back. Maybe you started a while back, didn't really get into it, and you think, man, I want to try it again. Well, you're in luck. I'm going to show you how to get started, even if you don't know a, a single person playing the game and you want to come in by yourself or maybe you and a couple of buddies are coming to play. I'm going to show you how to get started and elevate your game quickly so that you can enjoy ARC no matter where you play. Okay, and there's lots of options for where you play, but this uh, note run that we're about to show you applies to almost any server you end up on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you the island note run now the island was the first map ever and uh still one of the best still one of my favorites and uh, on the island we're going to go around and collect the dossiers all right uh we call them notes for the sake of ease it is the note run but technically there's a more rp name for these things that you're picking up now here's the thing you don't get to read any of them this is about speed and efficiency okay which i'm a master of obviously now just to be clear, this is the first time I have tried this. I definitely didn't die like 17 times to get to this point. Okay, so just know that this is the first attempt and nothing has gone wrong before this. All right, so here we go. We're going to show you the note run. The first thing you're going to do is create your character. You can make it look any way you want. You can hit randomize a few times to get a random character. We have a pre-made character. This is our character that we always use. Apparently we don't. Uh, it's not letting me load the preset, so screw it. We don't have that. We're going to just randomize, 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 and then we're going to start West 2. West 2 is where you want to start. That's where we're going to start. All right, here we go, here we go. Wait, let's go female. Here we go, because you want to be a female, because, you know, you, it's smaller. You want to be small in this game. And go. And so we start West 2. Don't forget to change your name. You don't want to be human. All right, nobody wants to be human, okay? Human is for, never mind. Just don't be human. All right, we're going to name ourselves Note Run. We're going to start on West 2. Here we go. Create new survivor, West 2 zone. Bam, there we are. Now, let me tell you a couple of things you want to know before you get started. It is not good to try to do this at nighttime. Just trust me. You don't want to do it at nighttime. We're going to just do it. It's not nighttime. It's uh, just starting to be daylight, but do not do this at nighttime. It is not fun, all right? Now, here's what you're looking for. We're at the bottom left of your screen there. We're going to the 4X note. Now, what that means is you get four times the experience for anything you do after you collect this note. Now, we're going to show you how to do that. It's actually up there on that ridge right in front of us. So we're just going to go over here up to the ridge and get ready to start the note run. Now, you are free to die at any point until you touch that 4X note. But once you touch the 4X note, you really, really, really do not want to die because it will ruin the note run. And then um, I wouldn't know this offhand because I don't ever die. But if you were to die, you would have to take this character and transfer off the server, create a new character. It's just a whole big thing. You don't want to do that. Okay. So just don't die once you get the 4X note. All right. So as you can see, we're on official right now. We're on official PVP. This server belongs to somebody. Uh, and we're just going to do the note run and hope they don't come bother us. All right. So anyway, here we go. We're just going to run over to the 4X note now. We're going to grab the 4X note. And once we've grabbed the 4X note, we will uh, begin grabbing other notes and leveling up. Now, there's a couple of things you need to know for your leveling up process. Number one, the, the level up I do is meant for the way I play the game specifically. Some of the things I do, you're going to want to follow. And some of them are up for your own decisions based on how you want to play the game and what server you're playing on. As I said, there's lots of ways to play the game. So just adjust it to what you're trying to accomplish and the server that you're playing on. Um, okay, so this marks the spot apparently on this server. Thanks a lot to uh, Christoph for dropping these here to let everybody know where the 4X note is. Here's the 4X note. That's what it is right below us there. And you can see that we are here on your map right there. All right, so here we go. Once we get the 4X, no dying. Crouch off the edge, grab the note. And then you got to run and jump. If you do not make the run and the jump, well, you hit that rock and die and your note run over, is over before it starts. Now we've got 600 seconds of four times experience. What we want to do is use that to get some more notes, okay? Because the notes all give you experience as well. And they add to a secondary timer that is 2x experience. So we're actually going to have a 4x experience uh, timer running and a 2x all at the same time. 
now here's where we don't want to die we can't die now that we've started all right if you die here well you've ruined your character and we will uh we'll show you how to start over at some other point but since we're not gonna die at all we don't have to worry about that right now the second note is right here remember we just jumped down from the mountain we swam around to this side first note is right there all right now i'm gonna go ahead and put some points in now here's what you want to do i'm doing this slower than i would do it if i was actually running this but one point in fortitude this allows you to get hit by a true don and as long as you don't get hit twice you don't get knocked out getting knocked out by a true don no run is over now after that we're going all movement speed you're gonna go all movement speed now this is up for discussion but for now we're gonna run it to 148 right there and then after that we're gonna just go uh one point into stamina i'm gonna end up doing two points into stamina but that's mostly for the note run you can change that at any point later all right so we've got the second note now remember this is all about speed i'm already going slower than i would normally like to go you want to keep moving quickly now we're running back across the island in the front here of course the forex was over there we're going to the second note now keep in mind that because these dudes have put these gates everywhere it makes it really easy to find the notes if you're playing on a different server that doesn't have all this uh spam and nonsense out here then it may be a little trickier to find some of these but here is the next note we grab this and we don't stop we don't stop until we're out of stam and at which point we uh hit the ground and we level up while we wait for our stam to come back all right now we're going to push down the island further again this would be a little bit trickier if we uh if we didn't have all this stuff here blocking all the trees so normally there'd be trees and all kinds of things here but thankfully we can see them quite easily here's the next one now these are difficult to find i might will do another one at some point showing that but now we're going to do uh one more point in stamina and we're going to go all the way up to 200 health and 200 weight now for what i'm doing the weight doesn't matter because we're just showing you guys how to make this run but for you you will want the weight all right at this point you're already level 64 but this is only because we're on a boosted server right now there's an event running it's the turkey trial so everything uh including experience i think it's three times the normal so we're actually getting way more experience than you will normally get but the note run applies all the same all right so you're going to grab that one i actually skipped one accidentally because i'm getting ahead of myself and you can see it down here we'll go right down here this is the second one now here's the first problem you're going to come across is your lack of water now normally you won't have to worry about it till the other side of this mountain so if you're doing this quickly you don't have to worry about it but if you need to at any point just hit the water grab some water and you're good to go all right so we're going to go ahead and put four more points in again these points don't matter for me currently as much but for you you will be able to then put them wherever you want them i do su uh suggest you do a heavy weight once you hit the 148 to 160 movement speed okay 160 is the highest normally that you'll want to go because again this game is about dinosaurs and towards the end you'll mostly be using the dinosaurs or, or uh and won't be on foot all right next note's top of the hill you crouch here because if you don't crouch at this point with your speed you'll run off the edge and die once you've crouched we run down and we've got another note right up here now i'm not regaining stamina very quickly and that's because we don't have any water which is going to become a problem we may actually not make this here in a second we're going to grab this we're going to pick some berries along the way we just need a few berries keep us alive and here we go 12 berries hit these up all right that should get us so we can get some stamina back a little bit better this is the next most dangerous point normally there's a bunch of raptors here there could be a couple of trudons but in the water in front of us where we have to cross that's where the piranhas live now you do not want to get piranhas all right so you're going to make sure that your stamina is all the way up when we get here no no low stamina or swims all right we don't do that once you're here you run you jump you swim and you pray that there are no piranhas all right you see we're down to 300 seconds as we cross the river here 300 seconds of 4x note left if you were not at uh on a boosted server or with the booster rates thanks to the event you would be somewhere around level 60 right now somewhere around level 60. okay so we're gonna hit this especially if you're on the 1x official uh if you're on six man uh, small tribes then you're going to be quite a bit higher up because those are also 3x rates normally all right now we see we have a raptor here so we're going to be a little careful with this raptor we'll make sure we have stamina to outrun him which we don't we don't have any stamina because we don't take care about that so now we're going to try to juke the raptor and it's not going to happen
Okay. So, <clears throat> like I said, perfect note run. Nothing to see here. I'm not even going to start over. We're going to continue from there, but just know that you do not want to die to that raptor, okay? <clears throat> we're not going to go back and restart this. We're just going to keep going. So we're going to go back to where we were, and I'll show you what to do. Just remember, manage manage your, um, uh, your stamina much, much better, okay? Manage that stamina much, much better. So here we go. We're going to go back to where we just were. Remember... See, as you can see now, the timers are both gone. So we're not getting the boosted experience now. So that's why it's very important to not let that happen. Okay? Because remember, uh, one important thing to know about this game is that for most servers, the minimum level requirement to actually have a chance at survival on ARC is 100. Someone in your group needs to be level 100 because that's when you can make heavy turrets. And that is the... Uh, first step in being able to defend any kind of base you build. Regular turrets will not keep you safe, no matter how many you have of them. And uh, Plan X turrets obviously also will not keep you safe, no matter how many you have of them. Now, there are certain servers with certain rule types that uh, will make it so that it's not that that's not the case. But in general, generally speaking, you want somebody to be level 100 so that you can, in fact, make heavy turrets. All right, so we're going to get back over here. Uh, to the body and assume and we're going to pretend like we did not die to this stupid raptor okay fuck you all right fuck you raptor all right uh anyway let's go over here here all right so remember we got this note here there's the raptor that killed us so we're gonna oh he's fighting uh he's fighting oh no okay don't die until we're past please Wanted to die. Oh, no, he wasn't even the raptor. Here's the real raptor. Oh, God, he, he stuck up on us. There was another one. It's a trap. All right, anyway, so we're going to keep moving. We did get that note. So now you're going to keep going down the beach. We're headed down the beach to the south, okay? Okay, this raptor is going to be a problem. We're just going to run, grab this, and try to juke him here. And we are successful. Maybe. Maybe we're successful. So we've got the next note. Now we're going to hit the water, and I will show you guys where we are. Okay, there we go. So now we're running across here. We've run all the way around the, the um, West 2 Island. Now, we're, are we getting bitten by piranhas? We're going to pretend like we're not. No piranhas, bad. This is why you need a little help. Okay, piranhas are bad. All right. Anyway, we're now moving across the south from left to right or from west to east. We're going to go up this hill, and we're going to finally get our stamina all the way back up. Now, again, in theory, you should still be running with the 4X note uh, experience buff to do all of this. And, again, I stopped and slowed down a lot to talk and show you guys things. But if you were doing this yourself, the key is speed. You do not want to go slow at all. You don't really want to stop to put in points, and uh, you want to know the point that you're going to put in before you stop so that you are moving quickly. Now, this one's hard to find. You sort of just have to run through the woods until you get there. But as you can see, it's right up here. It's a little archway. And there is a note here. We'll grab this. And then we're going to turn and go up. Well, technically down. This is technically south on this little peninsula that we're on here. You can see right there on the map. And uh, there's going to be another note right over here. We're going to grab this. So we grab it here. We've got that one. So now there's a lot of people who like to run a southern note run, which would take us that way. We would continue that way. Um, there's two different ones that uh, most people do. It's that one and the one that we're going to do here, which is the West Coast run. And I like the West Coast run better for a few reasons. But basically it comes down to which one you can remember, remembering all the note locations and which one you prefer based on what your goals are after you're done with the note run. A lot of people are doing a note run and then they're going to leave and transfer to another server. So finding the right note run for you is all about deciding what you're trying to do and accomplish because there are more than one 4X note. I believe there's four total 4X notes. If I'm correct, there's one West 2, West 3, South, and then uh, North. I guess North 3, basically. And uh, so it's kind of up to you how much of the note run you want to do. All right, got a little lag there. Uh, here's the next note. We're on the middle of the island here. Let me show you. So we have done nothing yet except for the island that I'm facing. The West 2 Island, we ran across the beach right along the river there, 
and then we've done three notes right here. That's all we've done so far. And we're already, at this point, you would be level 70-ish, okay? Level 70-ish. Now you're going to jump back down, and we're going back to the west coast. Again, you can go south, no problem. No problem at all, you can go south. But we're going to do the west coast run, and uh, we'll continue with that here. If you want to do the south one, there's plenty of guides online to do that as well. And also, there are plenty of websites that have all the note locations you can find them. Um, so just Google search uh, Ark the Island Note Run Locations. And that should get you set up and ready to rock. We're going to get some more stamina. We'll just throw in the rest of the points. Remember, we are definitely on a, a boost right now. It's 3x what normal would be. So here you'd be roughly level 70. Um, and on the first... On the first 4X run, we should be able to get several more notes if we didn't die and if we don't take our time. So, But learning to do the note run will pay off in the long term because you're going to make more than one character uh, as you play on different servers and do different things, and you can't always transfer. So learning this note run is not a bad thing, even in 2021. All right, we're going to hit a note right here. So we're just uh, around the uh, waterfalls right here in the south. Again, there was the island where we did the first part of the note run. We got the first 4X and did all the notes over there. And we just continue on. Now we're hitting the west coast, and we're going to go north up the west coast here in just a second. And we lag back again because this is official, and the servers are atrocious. Our ping is only 83, but it's still very atrocious. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to go over here. And again, all of this, you would still have your 4X, although the 4X is getting a little low by now. You would uh, probably have a maybe 100 seconds left here. Maybe a little bit more, depending on how quick you are and how much trouble you have. Anything you have to avoid. Uh, but we're going to get the note over here. It's actually on this other island around this rock and right here. There you go. Another one. Again, we've just run up the river here. Oh, my God. The raptors are everywhere on the server. All right, so we're just going to run from raptor to raptor. There's just so many. Uh, a lot of times you won't have that bad of a time. Maybe uh, the server you do it on, it won't be anything but uh, trikes, and that would be much preferred. All right, so there's the red obelisk. We haven't even left the red obelisk yet, and we are uh, continuing the run. Now, we're going to go over here. Again, some of these are going to be much harder to find if you're doing them on a fresh server or a server where this area has not been spammed off uh, because it's way harder to find them in that case. But this, uh, this next note is right here. There's your red obelisk. There's the beach on West 3. And here is the note here. Got that one. And there's a couple of notes here that sometimes I cannot remember where they are. But if you're following along on, uh, on Google, if you find a, a picture of the map, or if you have a, a different video also that you can pull up, then you can find all of the notes. Uh, we don't care about finding all of the notes. This note run is mostly about getting as many levels as you can off of the first 4X note run. And then I'm going to give you the options for decisions you can make from there to go forward to either continue your note run or save it for another day. All right, so we're going to continue up the West Coast here. Uh, there may be a note here that I'm missing, maybe over there. Yeah, th okay, so there is one more note right here. We'll, eat, we'll go uh, eat some berries, and then we'll go grab that here in just a second. All right, also, uh, stem berries are a good idea to have in your last slot. I've been slacking because I've been talking. But uh, normally you want to put the stem berries in the last slot or whatever slot you like the stem berries in case you need to pop them to run away from things like Trudons. So we hit that note and we continue up again, West Coast. That's the uh, ocean right over there to the to our uh, left there. That's the West Coast uh, Beach. And we continue running up the hill. And again, if we do miss a couple of notes, it's not a big deal. You can go back and grab them. Uh, at any point and we're going to uh, give you some options once we get to a certain spot now if you're fast you should still have the 4x through here um although it does it is getting pretty low here and any small deviation or uh inability to find the note can um, obviously slow you down and, and put you back a little bit so just understand that for maximum efficiency once your 4x note timer runs out you want to stop grabbing the other notes okay so you you would stop grabbing the notes when the 4X timer runs out and grab one of the other 4X notes, which is what we're going to show you here in just a few minutes. We're going to continue running as if we still had it, just so you can see where all these notes are up here. Again, this one's just continuously heading. Uh, we're, I'll show you the map here. But we're just running up this mountain ridge, 
up the west coast on or so, yeah north up the west coast all right and that's all we're doing we're going to come down here and there's going to be a couple of notes we'll grab down here there's going to be one to our left and down and then we'll grab the others over there this is where it gets a little dangerous because there are quite a few trudons in this area again generally speaking raptors won't be a problem if you're paying attention to stamina and not trying to talk and explain and while you do the note run video but true dons will catch you true dons will catch you slipping and that's a bad time so remember that in this area true dons and raptors actually are normally normally the raptor problem is not as bad in the south but uh it, it can get pretty ugly here so there's the other note again still west coast is right there and we come over to these ruins here where there's another note and then we're going to continue up all right so here's a raptor you can see true dons right there if this was nighttime Oh, bro, you would be in a, a miserable position if this was nighttime. So just con con consider that when you're going because the uh, simple way to deal with Trudons is to have a torch. But the reality is we don't want to stop to make a torch. We want to continue with speed. Now, sometimes uh, around here your 4X will already have dropped off because you got caught up or you had to avoid danger or some other thing has happened. So some of these notes you might want to save until... You grab another 4x but i'm going to continue on and show you all the way up until the point where we have uh, a pteranodon waiting for us and we're going to grab the pteranodon and show you some of the other things you're going to want to know all right so we're going to continue on and again we are still basically just heading north up west coast okay all around the 20 line okay so we're going to grab this note here grab that and I'm going to show you another note here, but you can't really get it unless you have a parachute. Run down here a little bit and trying to avoid all danger. There's also another note in the woods up there. I'm not going to show you because it is the most obnoxious one to find, but we will show this one just so you can see it. And again, if you're following along on a map from Google or something like that, these will be pretty easy for you to find and follow. Just drop all the berries so no matter which ones we pick up, we can eat them. Just hold them while we run. <clears throat> and again, the uh, experience bonus is also going to apply to anything you're doing. So if you're picking berries while you run, if you start, you know, anything like that, you'll get the uh, 2x or 4x bonus or both, depending on what you do. There's a m the other note we were talking about. It's over there. If you had a parachute, you could just parachute right over. Or later on, if you have a bird, you just fly over and grab it. We'll show you that actually in a little bit with the bird. And then we're going to run back down. We're going to just run back down. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to kill ourselves here, spawn on the bed, grab the bird. Actually, no, we're not because uh, I won't be able to spawn on the bed. Uh, because, uh, actually, we're not going to talk about it. Because, remember, I did not screw this up the first 17 times we tried it. So, there's nothing to talk about. Everything's fine. We're just going to run to the bed that I totally own and wasn't on another character that we started with and had to remove. And Yeah. Anyway, we're going to continue up the West Coast now. So... Normally, I wouldn't come get this one here. This is not one I would grab on this part of the run, but I did want to show it since we were here, and we're not worried about the 4X note right now. Uh, and then we're going to go back and grab the ones that are uh, actually much more important because there are a lot of them close together. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Up through the woods. This area is very dangerous. Lots of Therizinos here. If you don't know what that is, uh, well, just pray you don't run into one. All right, and we're gonna keep moving. We gotta kind of backtrack a little bit because of the rate, uh, because of the route we took. Normally, you won't really have to worry about doing this if you stick to the West Coast run. Just showing you some more notes. The key here is to know where as many notes are as possible, and then adapting your note run to your style and your overall uh goals for the note run for instance let me explain what i'm talking about there's a lot of things that this note run is good for number one if there's a new server for instance there are some servers that reset frequently uh artpocalypse is one of those it resets every month every 30 days this whole server resets and so you will run a new character every uh time that happens if you enjoy playing artpocalypse um there's also things like classic and conquest which normally have uh, several months before they reset, but they do reset uh, genuine, like uh, generally more frequently than others. Okay, there's um, also 
plenty of other types of servers that reset now if you're doing modded you're not really concerned with this to be honest because most of the modded servers have the rates turned up so high that you don't really need to do a note run um so if you're playing on uh modded servers then that's this is probably not something you'll need to really concern yourself with but any type of official this works on so if you're running this on a, a new server for instance when a new map drops maybe you maybe you're just starting now and uh, we have a new a couple of new maps coming out one is coming out this month if you're watching it right now this is december of 2021 one comes out this month and then the next free map comes out next year and maybe you decided to play right before a new map comes out well you can do a note run and transfer your character to the new map so you can have a high level character when you start on the new map but remember you can't take any other things with you when you do that so just something to keep in mind you can do this for any new map as well uh that they put on official so here is another note we are just up the coast on west three now technically if you remember, there was the note that we did. It would technically be that way now, but it was where uh, the big ruins were, okay? that After that note, you would come this way, generally speaking, um, if you still have the full wreck. So we'll grab this one, and we're going to move down the beach a little further, all right? So remember, if your forex runs out, you're going to stop grabbing the notes until you're at a place where you can grab the second forex, which is further up this way further up this way but you should uh again if you're running it well and you've gotten used to the the um run this way and you've picked your path that you like it is not impossible to still have your full wreck at this area although you'd be very low on time at this area uh, once you got here so here's uh, another two right next to each other you've got one here and then there's one right below you right here and again, we're still just following up the uh, west coast here. Just just up the west coast. We're following this up and around. We're getting very close to the next uh, 4X note that you'll want to grab. I'm going to show you a couple more, and then we're going to continue moving. <clears throat> so, if you've made it this far and you haven't died, you're doing well. You're, you're going to be um, you're going to be high 70s by this point. Okay. Uh, even on the regular 1X normally, uh, we do recommend if you're playing on the regular 1X, if you're going to give that a try, that you do the note run on a weekend where they have an event because most weekends they run 2X experience uh, events. So generally, you're going to want to wait for that to start a new character. But if not, even on 1X, you would be uh, mid-60s here, okay? Mid-60s, which is not terrible. That's more than halfway to 100 and uh, all you've done is run around naked and grab some notes. Now, there's a note somewhere right in here. Here we go. Here's the note here. There you go. Uh, one thing to mention is that I know I'm running out of stamina a lot, but I'm not controlling my stamina very well. I'm just sprinting around. Uh, if you do want to put points in stamina, never more than 130, all right? You may not understand why in the beginning, but later on, uh, as you learn the game more, you're going to realize that you don't really need that much stamina. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no. Uh, you're not going to need that much stamina because you're going to either have access to um, stamina brews, which are basically drinks that help keep your stamina up, or you're going to be riding a dinosaur the whole time. So you don't really need the stamina, and it's sort of wasted points that you could put into health or weight or you know whatever other thing you're building. Um, so we're getting close to the other 4X. Uh, you'll see up here. There's going to be some stuff that we've left for ourselves. Again, when we didn't screw this up the first time, because that didn't happen. This is our first attempt, and it ran, obviously, perfectly. Okay, We're just going to pretend like we didn't die back there that one time. But um, uh, that was absolutely lag. Uh, I think we can all agree. But anyway, we're going to grab a bird now. And we'll grab this and that. Grab a couple of things here. Um, actually, we don't even need this. I don't care about that. I'll just grab the flak. Why not? Uh, grab that. Food, water, and screw the rest of it. It can just stay there. So, <clears throat> let's get this put on. There we go. Uh, once you've done the first note, obviously, don't ever paint your... Don't ever paint your armor like this. Whoever did this should be should be banned from playing. But uh, anyway, 
you're gonna grab your bird if you've got one if not you're gonna still be doing this on foot but we're gonna show you the rest of this uh on the bird so here's the next 4x it works just the same as the last one you're gonna grab it and if you grab it on a tame the tame will also get the uh, timer you can see now me and the bird both have timers going and then there's more notes now i'm not going to go through here and show you all the notes um again there's a lot of websites that show you all the notes what i'm going to do instead is talk about your next step and where you should go once you've sort of gotten to this point again you're, you're looking to be you know mid to high 70s off your note run um if you have a little trouble it's not that big of a deal remember you can always come back and you can grab the notes and continue on with your note run like i said there's a lot of notes use uh use google find a map and you can um and you can look for those uh extra notes that i'm not showing you because there's a lot there's a lot of notes here they go all the way up in the snow of course they go all the way across the south the east coast there is a lot of notes i'm just showing you a quick way to get mid 60s uh if it was 1x which again we don't suggest you do that but uh mid 70s to 80s to get you started all right now let's say that you've done that and you're thinking all right i don't want to really get the second note i don't have a bird i'd rather wait what do i do now there's a few options there's a few options if you're just getting started it's not very hard to tame a pteranodon and it doesn't even need to be a good pteranodon you find a pteranodon you knock it out and i'm not going to show you all that but you guys know how to do it i'm sure or you can look it up you just need a bow and some uh tranquilizer uh arrows or you could bolo it and uh hit it with a bola and knock it out with a club there's a lot of ways to knock them out but either way all you want to do is knock it out grab a bird make a saddle uh, which will take you a little bit of time but then you continue the note run now if you have some friends who are playing and one of those people has a little bit of experience and they know what they're doing and they like to tame stuff then you can get a megatherium okay a megatherium is like a giant sloth they are normally in the redwoods and a few other places and we're gonna head over here and remember this is all on the first map you haven't had to leave or go anywhere else which is something you can do we're gonna go over to the redwoods and if you have access to a sloth, which we do not currently because someone didn't know the difference between a megatherium and a megalosaurus, uh, but that's not the point. If we did have access to the megatherium, we would come over here. Or if you're looking to tame one, it just takes a little honey, which you can grab also in the redwoods. Uh, but just understand that if you are new to the game, redwoods is pretty dangerous. Maybe we'll maybe we'll find out why in a minute. Let's see. But uh, you're looking for the megatherium. It, look, it actually looks like a giant furry sloth that stands up. A lot of the times let's see if we can see one to show you what it looks like just in case you don't know obviously all these things you can find online this is not supposed to be a comprehensive guide for dinosaurs or taming it's just more like a quick guide to get you started do we see a megatherium nope but we do see our death over there waiting uh let's see anyway uh i don't see one right now but that's fine what you're gonna find uh what you're gonna look for is this cave all right wait is this the cave where is this cave the cave is somewhere around here i'm not used to finding it on a bird ah here we go all right so this cave that you're gonna look for once you have your megatherium uh is here so roughly like uh, we always do latitude first by the way so like 63 36 ish all right and what you're gonna need is scuba and um i think you need gilly too i don't i don't have the stuff we need maybe maybe it's just scuba and a gas mask i'm not really sure uh anyway in here you can see these guys already have some stuff in here i'm not gonna go in here in case we die but you will need some scuba maybe some gilly uh and that kind of stuff or a gas mask and you take the megatherium and you throw the megatherium out in here using your little uh cryopod and uh you just kill bugs and that will level you up super 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 fast okay so that's one way you can do it um obviously you continue doing the note run there's a lot more notes to get and you can hit 100 on the island with the note run but it does take you a while okay but that's the uh that's the options for your note run so what you're really trying to do though is you really want to hit 70 to 80. anywhere above that you're ahead of the curve now one player on your team if you're racing if this is a new server and you're racing to get as far ahead as possible and again remember we're shooting for level 100 okay we're shooting for level 100 so one thing you want to do if you're racing to that is make sure one person is continuously moving towards getting 
to level 100. But after you've done this, if you want to wait and do note runs at some other point, that is fine. The next step you have to decide is where do we go now? All right. Now, let me explain a couple of things uh, that I don't think a lot of people do well. I haven't seen very many videos explaining what works for what uh, type of people as far as picking an ARC server. Okay. So we're going to do that. And then uh, you can, that'll sort of help you decide what you need to do once you've done this part of the note run. All right. So let's go through that for a second. If you're trying to figure out where you should play ARC, what type of server you should join, it's actually not that difficult. There are lots of options. And basically, if you can think of a way to play ARC, there's probably a server that fits for you. Now, I'm going to go through a few of my favorites uh, as we talk about it, uh, the different servers in this video. But one thing you should know is that if you don't enjoy one type, try something else because there are a lot of ways to play this game. I know a lot of people have tried ARC, they play ARC, they jump onto an official server because realistically, that's the easiest thing to find. Uh, and you're gonna find the most people there normally when you look um, at the server list and they die or they get you know killed a bunch or somebody blows up their base the first week and they just quit. But what you need to understand is that there's a lot of different types of servers and there's a way to find one that you can play on and have a good time if you know what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna start with short-term servers. Now these are servers where you don't have to invest your whole life, you don't have to you know, spend all of your time living on ARC to survive and to you know, continue playing, but you can have some fun, you can PVP if you like to, and it's a good place to begin. A lot of people think that uh, ARC PVP is only one way, but that's not true. My favorite servers, some of my favorite servers are called Arcpocalypse. Now, if you've never heard of Arcpocalypse, it's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty much the uh, most easy way to play the full official experience of Arc. So how it works is this: Arcpocalypse resets every 30 days, and it resets completely. That means all the dinosaurs get killed all the bases get destroyed and all the characters get removed. And you have to start all the way over at the end of the 30 days. Now, what makes this nice is that you don't really care what happens in those 30 days. You play it, you have some fun, you raise some dinos, you farm up some stuff, you go PVP, you lose it all, no big deal. And the most amount of time you have to wait is 30 days and you can play it again. It's a great way to meet new people if you're looking to find people to play with, because you, again, you just don't really care about the stuff that you have on an Arcpocalypse server because it's always gonna disappear within 30 days. So you can invite a bunch of people who you don't know. You can take a bunch of chances in getting to know people on Arcpocalypse servers. And if you get along with them, now you've got somebody new to play with on more servers and different servers. And if you don't, then no problem. You just don't play with them again the next time the servers reset. So Arcpocalypse is something I recommend for people who are trying to maybe get into uh, Arc PVP for the first time who don't want to put you know everything aside to live arc or people who have played arc in the past or maybe they're a little bit burned out that but they still enjoy the art pvp experience art apocalypse is a good example of a way to play that now if you're not really into the shorter time frames obviously you've got normal official and you've got small tribes those never reset they're ongoing they've been ongoing for uh more than a, more than, i think it's Man, I can't even remember. I think we're somewhere around three years at this point that those have both been running without a wipe. And those just do not wipe almost ever. And uh, so those are places you can go if you really, really, really want to get to the most hardcore levels of ARC PvP. That's where you find those. That's where you find all the mega tribes and that's where you find the alliances and all that type of thing. And if you really want to play ARC and that's all you do for uh, for a lot of your time, and that's the only game you enjoy, then that's a good place to be because there's always content for you there. Okay? There's always content for you there uh, to, to check out. So ARC regular official, which most people call 1X, or small tribes, which is the six-man ARC, which is uh, the, the six-man means you can only have six people in your tribe then those are a great place to play if you really if arc is the only game you want to play and you really want to get into uh high level pvp and again arcpocalypse remember is much more of a beginner 
version of uh, PvP. That doesn't mean there aren't going to be really good players there, but it just means you don't have to care as much. You don't have to really care about it. It doesn't really matter if you lose the stuff. You can play it every 30 days and have a good time. Now, there's also a lot of other options. There's something called Classic and Conquest, which are basically revolving game modes. So Classic is, uh, is a game mode that sort of takes you back to more of the original feeling of art. So a lot of the tech stuff that you might uh, be familiar with in regular official, those things aren't really in the game. It's a lot more about the way the game used to be uh, with a lot more emphasis on the, the dinos of the early game. So things like RGs and Quetzals and you know that kind of stuff and a, a lot less about tech. There's almost no tech involved. There's also no cave building in, um, in a classic, which is really nice because it means that there are basically always somebody to fight and uh, those reset every few months there's not a, like a specific timetable but normally it's every like four three to four months they reset those and they alternate so one time it'll be conquest which is full tech it is basically tech um and, and basically a shorter version of official and then it's classic which is again no tech and much more of a uh early game type of art content but again a lot of fun both of those are a lot of fun it's a uh, another great way to get in have a you know a good time with your friends with some other people uh there are big bigger tribes that will play on there but that's okay i think the tribe limit is 25 but you can sort of rotate people in and out on both of those but it's a lot of fun another good way to play it but it's again you're not losing your life to the game in the same way that you kind of need to to play six man or official now one thing i do want to say is that a lot of people come in my channel and they say, man, I tried official, but I just don't have time to play it. When I say that ARC official or six man um, is the most grueling, that doesn't necessarily mean that you still have to lo live your life on ARC because the cool thing about, well, I won't say that about six man. Six man is a little bit different, but one X official, if you can get into a tribe on one X official, one of the neat things about it is because the tribes are large and the alliances are large, there's less on uh, the individual level, there's less for you to have to worry about. You don't have to spend all your time there. If you miss several days because you're you know, doing something else, playing another game out of town, it's not a problem. There's almost always somebody to look after the base and take care of dinos. And while you are definitely expected to uh, you know, do things to benefit uh, your tribe and things like that, such as raising dinos to take to war, you know, farming up bullets for turrets and all these kinds of things. While you are definitely expected to do things that benefit your tribe, it's not the same uh, as most people assume. You don't have to live on ARC to play them. But it is a little more difficult to find a tribe on regular 1X official. That is, uh, that is the downside. If you find the tribe, it's no problem. Then, you know, you're good to go and you can almost always get back to it if you enjoy it. But, uh, a lot of people say that they say man I, I wanted to play official 1x i think it's fun but I, I just don't have the time but the truth is it takes a lot less time and effort on the individual level to play 1x official than it does um some of the other game modes because again there's so many people to help cover the clock and all that kind of stuff so just keep that in mind don't 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 think that playing 1x official is something you can't do because you don't have as much time it's actually not that bad all right, so we've got Art Apocalypse. Remember that resets every 30 days. We've got Classic and Conquest, which is every few months it, they alternate. Um, and then we've got uh, Regular 1X Official and Six Man. Okay, these are all different kinds of servers to play on. Now, there's another kind of server to play on that's <laughs> a little bit interesting and supposedly is for newer players. And those are called beginner servers. Now, even myself, I enjoy going to beginner servers and having a good time and PVPing with people. But it is a good place to start as well because the max level is 44. So you're only going to be able to do things and have things that you can either get uh, from blueprints or that you can get from level, uh, level 44 and below. And then it resets every, I think they do that one every three months. So it's a great way to start. All the dino levels are super low and um it's just a great way to learn the game it's quick easy taming uh you can find out and learn about breeding uh, i think you could do like the gamma boss fights and stuff like that but overall it's just a great place to start if you really have no idea what you're doing you've never played art before or again if you're if you just like to have fun and a stress-free environment those are, that's a good place to play as well so you've got the beginner servers you've got our apocalypse we've got 
uh, classic and conquest and we've got official one x and we've got six man those are all official servers okay those are all servers run by wildcard there's no admins there's no, none of that and so basically as long as you're following the rules you're left to your own devices now if you prefer a game experience where there's somebody available to give you help and support when something goes wrong or if you think that something is you know unfair and you you want to complain and have somebody you know care what your complaints are and there are a million modded servers unofficial servers and those servers i'm not going to go over because i don't know that much about them and i'm sure there's a lot of lists of great modded servers and unofficial servers but there's plenty of those types of servers as well that you can uh use to find the gameplay experience for you some of them have rates that are really high all the way up to a thousand times um uh like rate gathering for you know farming and stuff um and so you can find all types there's offline raid protection and things like that now just to be clear there's some official ones like that as well some uh offline raid protection cross arcs and things like that but generally speaking the um the population on those is a little bit lower than most of the other um most of the other types of servers that you'll find now if you don't care about that if you're just looking for a fun experience where you can sleep at night that's a good option to check out as well cross arc servers which are smaller clusters and then they have the cross arc servers with um with offline raid protection there's also things like no tech no flyers which is basically just foot pvp um normally i don't really i, I, I don't play those so i'm not going to suggest them because I don't really know like i'm not a good person to ask about them so i'm sort of leaving those out but just trust me when i tell you there's a million ways to play this game and then of course you've got pve if you don't want to fight at all you don't want to ever fight players and pv uh pvp and anything like that there are pve servers uh, pve servers that are official as well as unofficial um but just understand that you're in for some different types of battles on those servers and uh it can be quite interesting there's there's a different breed of griefers on pve servers so just remember there are so many options and I, I just think that it's important to know that if you don't have a good time the first thing you try that doesn't mean arc isn't for you that means that type of server wasn't for you and you should keep looking all right so in 2021 we are six years you know we're coming into 2022 uh, almost seven years from the original uh, early access release of arc and there is still a ton to do in this game. And there's definitely still a place that you can find to have a good time. And then, if that wasn't enough, they're giving us new maps that is free content. There's a lot of free content in this game. Um, and then, after that, we still have ARC 2 to look forward to. So, get into the ARC universe. Figure out how you enjoy playing the game. Find a server that works for you and your friends. And then, uh, get ready for more arc adventures because they are a lot of fun now there's a lot of other videos out there go check them out learn some different stuff learn about taming learn about breeding i'm not the guy to teach you about those things but getting started i hope this helped go do your note run hit level 65 75 80 and then begin your art career good luck to you and i hope i catch you slipping